These are protractors and they're very, very simple to use. This is a cheap Amazon copy of a US military protractor and this is commonly known as an RA protractor. RA is Royal Artillery in the British Army. Now, both of these protractors, in fact, most protractors, have two main uses. They're used for bearings, which you can either put onto a map or you can take off a map. And they're also used to deal with grid references that you can once again take from a map or you can put onto a map. Now, I've done another video dealing with bearings using a protractor. So in this video, I want to show you how to take accurate grid references using these. Later on in the video, I'll show you how to use the US military compass in a way that I think is much simpler, faster and more accurate. In the same way as most good quality compasses have, these protractors have roamers. Now, these are the right angle lines which are printed onto the plastic and they're used to help take or put accurate grid references either from a map or onto a map. Now, as you probably know, maps have vertical and horizontal lines on them which forms a grid of squares all over the map. Each of these lines is numbered and we can use this numbering system to identify individual squares and, you know, within the grid. And this is called a grid reference. Anyway, back to roamers. Both of these protractors have roamers which, you, which are used with maps of different scales. So the first thing you need to check is that your map scale and the roamer scale is the same. As an example, if I was using one of these roamers with a 1 to 50,000 map, then I'd have to use the 1 to 50,000 roamer. Today I'll be using a 1 to 25,000 map, so I'll have to use the 1 to 25,000 roamer. Okay? Let's assume that I want to go to the grid reference which contains spot 404 on Middleton Crag. Spot is just the standard abbreviation for spot height. And we can see that it's in column 97 and row 21. And as the lines on this map are one kilometer apart, the, the square that this forms is one kilometer on either side. So we can say that spot 404 is somewhere within grid reference 9721. We can then subdivide each side of this one kilometer square by 10. And so each of this will form another set of squares within that grid reference. And each of these smaller squares will be 100 meters on either side. So we can now say that spot 404 is somewhere within grid reference 976. 21, 5. We can even divide those 100 meter squares again by 10 on each side and this will give us another smaller set of squares that are 10 meters on either side. Okay so this will mean now that we can identify spot 404 as somewhere within the 10 meter square covered by grid reference 9766 2154. A 10 meter grid reference, you know, a 10 meter square, is, is normally accurate enough for, for most uses. So let's crack on with how do we actually use these protractors to deal with grid references. With the RA protractor there are small holes at the apex of each roma and to take a grid reference from a map feature, place the feature underneath the hole and then rotate the whole protractor until the zero or the 3200 mark are pointing directly up the map so it's pointing north. The grid reference is read where the Roma lines cross the map line. Now that may have sounded slightly confusing so I'll give you a real world example. Let's say that I'm on the summit of uh, Care Caradoc and I can see that the spot height on the summit is within square 4795 and don't forget that's a one kilometer square. So I put the hole at the apex of the Roma exactly over the spot height and then I note where the Roma number, where it crosses the vertical line on the map. And this is, as you can see, it's somewhere between seven and eight. It's just slightly nearer to the eight than it is to the seven. So I'll say that the first part of our grid reference will be 47, seven, six. Okay, so that 47 is the one kilometer grid reference. The seven is the 100 meter square 
and the 6 is the 10 meter square. So each number it drops down. So we can't be any more accurate than 10 meters because we can see that the printed spot height is actually 10 meters wide. Next, we, we read the number on the Roma where it crosses the horizontal map line. And as you can see, it's actually directly underneath the number four Roma line. So the next part of my grid reference will be 95, four, zero. It's zero because it's directly on the line. And this means that the spot height on the summit of Care Caradoc is somewhere within the 10 meter square identified as grid reference 4776 9540. So that's how to do it with a, the RA protractor. So now let's have a look at the American military protractor. I know this is only a cheap Amazon copy, but it is identical almost. So the way this is meant to be done, the way that it's written down in the training manuals, is to firstly identify the one kilometer square. And we know this is 47.95. I'll drop this onto your screen. You then place the Roma so that the edge of the Roma is touching the point. Okay, it's touching, in this case, it's touching the spot height. So you then read the number along the base of the Roma where it crosses the vertical map line. And as you can see, we get the same 4776. You then read the number where it's touching the feature on the left hand side of the Roma. And again, we get 9540. I don't use protractors, you know, very often, unless, it, unless I'm teaching on a course which needs them. And if I'm using the American military protractor, I'll show people how to do it in the way that the training manuals explain how you should do it. But I'll also show them another way, which is the way I, I tend to do it. Now, I understand that some people won't like this method and you know, that's fine. You should do whatever you feel is better for you. But anyway, I'll show you here's the trick. I'll put this onto your screen. All you do is I want to take the uh, grid reference on the summit point of Care Caradoc. All I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the protractor upside down, which seems, I know it seems a bit strange. But then, watch this, put the corner of the Roma, the apex, onto the map feature that you're concerned with, and then simply read the numbers where they cross the map lines. Obviously, as the Roma is upside down, the numbers will be reversed, but they're still very easy to read. Now, if you have one of these protractors, do it the way you normally do it, and then just turn the protractor upside down and compare the two. I find the upside down method much, much easier, and also, more importantly, it's a lot more accurate. But, you know, each their own. You do it the way you want to. And that's all there is to it. That is a full explanation of how to deal with grid references using aroma on a protractor. So thanks for watching.